Okay, so then, w w when you hit 4.4, what are you trying to do, though? Like, I, I get, like, trying to hit top 500, hit 4.4, but, like, Get what money exactly? by playing so, Overwatch so for college. To, you're trying to compete. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, that'll change a bit the way that I talk about this shit, then. Because, um... You understand. I'm guessing you do understand the time commitment requirement, right? Like that. It takes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How old are you? Sixteen. Jesus Christ, you're an infant. All right, you got more than enough time. You're good. <laughs> you can definitely do it. I believe you. Um. But yeah. Okay. So, what exactly? Um. I didn't think you were sixteen. I thought you were older. But um. Okay, yeah, so dude, I was 15 when I got the first coaching session. Really? Holy shit. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so what exactly? Um, what do you? What do you? What's your mindset here? What are you trying to do? Uh. Trying to play slow, put out as much damage, and build trans. Maybe poke away DPS. Okay. If they try to engage hard. Yeah, I'm already seeing issues. Okay. So, w w one thing I'm having an issue with is that you're kind of like. Um, you're kind of not outputting anything for weird periods of time. And it's like. Mm -hmm. You kind of the the thing with Zenyatta is that if if you're not charging, uh, if you're not charging up a shot, you need to be firing at something. Um, obviously you're you're very squishy, so you don't want to be out in the open for too long. But it's like during during these moments, th there's no reason for you to like half commit to a charge. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like you you should fully commit. And then you peek when the when the charge is done, or you stop peeking that soldier if like so. Wh wh why why exactly did you? Well, let me see. What were you trying to do here? Yeah. Okay. So first of all, if you're if you're peeking, you don't want to peek in an open sight line. Or sorry, uh, peek. Uh, if if you're uh, if you're charging, you don't want to charge in an open sight line, right? So you need to make sure mm -hmm. that you're taking cover while you're charging, right? Then. Two, you you want to make sure that that charge is full, right? And yeah. um, if you if you're not gonna do that, then you might as well just pop a Discord on somebody here and just fire at them, right? Because you see how it's like you're kind of you go for it there. Oh yeah, so it's mainly doing like having no downtime. Exactly, right? Because it's like right now you see how it's like you're kind of like you. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Like where it's like one shot charges. Yeah reloading here obviously but it's like you, you could be doing more over a longer period of time it's like you're if, if you if you aren't charging a zen like i said like if you're, if you're not charging a zen you're something's up it's like let me go back and watch this let me see like that like why, why do you like half charge and then you just like get, get rid of it and then now you're charging here out yeah. in the open when you, when you have no idea what's on the enemy team, you could you could get sniped right now. It could be like a damage boost, a dash, or something. Well, actually, uh, probably not because it's past twelve seconds. You probably already know who they are uh, when you're pressing tab. But it's just more so like the 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 intent behind what you're doing. It's like when mm -hmm. when you're thinking of Zenyatta's volley, you need to think of it as like a breach into wall in a way, right? So it's like when yeah. you end up going. Um, like this, right? When when you, uh, well, actually, if I go back a bit, right? When you're here, what the fuck, I went back. Why'd it go forward? There, right. So, when you're looking to breach through, so you can think of it as like you, you breach with your volley, and then you're able to sustain that. Um, to sustain the pressure through the breach that you created with your left clicks, right? Mm, so it's like yeah. when when you're here and you're charging up a shot, you're essentially making it take twice as long. Because can you imagine if you were just charging and then you just yeah, peek yeah. and then boom, headshots right here. 
right? Yeah. Or even yeah. if you just went like right here, you would have seen the sigma. You would have readjusted. He would have made him go a lot lower. He potentially would have um, had resources invest to him, uh, like a nade or what else is it they're running? Mercy. Okay. Well, whatever. Right. The the, the whole point is, is that you're, you're just like you're, you're kind of half-assing your way into here, and it's like it's costing you. It's like because now you're you're here and you're kind of struggling to peak. Or like you're peaking, but you know you can't stay there forever, and then it's like you're not getting any damage out. It's, it's like you're you're kind of being yeah you're you're essentially just not outputting anything. It's not even so much downtime. It's just like you not taking the opportunity to um to actually breach and like create an issue for the enemy. Uh, with with your initial volley has essentially just set you back for the rest of the fight, which is just going to make you have more downtime, because it's going to take you a lot more time to actually uh, try to bring this back, right? That makes sense? Yeah. yeah. So let's just go to watch. I'm assuming you're going to die here. Or you're going to get out. Uh, okay. <laughs> See, like the instant that you take the time to actually like set up a volley, you instantly start getting more value. Like you're actually starting to do damage. But when you do these half volleys, look, nothing happens. Yeah. Right. As soon as you do it here, nope. Because I think it's like my mindset's like, oh, they peak, I shoot. Yeah. Like you see, there you, you weren't facing much pressure, at least in, uh, initially, right? So you yeah. were able to fire normally, and that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Here you take cover, and then you go to breach, and you get a pick. You see that? Yeah. Right. Guff trans. Wait, they weren't even close to flux. Unlucky. Ugh. Uh. I mean, yeah, it could have been used in response to flux, but. No, I called. I call. I thought they had flux, so I was worried about that trans being. Oh, you, bad. that's what you mean. You, you called. Yeah. Them. Okay. Where were they at flux? Uh, oh, and then I position. don't end trans in a bad or good position, so I die. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I think trans here. Yeah, you, you definitely don't want to. Again, like you can see that like your your mentality after you're, you're trying to trance is that you're trying to uh, you're trying to go for another volley, but it's like you're you're out in the open, right? Um, you, you should ideally be trying to make it back like towards here, mm -hmm. right? And then from there you could potentially. I mean, I guess there's a bit of like a hindsight herald. You could potentially land one there, but I would say best shot would be like here. Yeah. Right? And then you could back off. But then the, the the one issue with that is that if you go here, and then it makes you uh, unless if you get a pick, it, you're gonna find that you're gonna have to back off at some point. Otherwise, the enemies will get back. And then it's like if they start paying attention to you, you're gonna have to back off here. And then it's like this is a bit of downtime, but I don't really think it's that much of an issue. I, I think the best thing that you can be doing here is the trance, right? Just to keep yourself alive throughout this alt. And then from there, you end up just like trying to sustain as much as you can, right? So the, you you're, you're trying to create leverage by keeping the um, you, you can you can uh, orb somebody or whoever it is on your team that you feel like you want to. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, ideally, it's going to be on somebody who is uh, like actually trying to. So like y you can think of his orb as like. A way of doubling up armor, in a way. Oh, okay. Right, because yeah. it's like y y you'll see that it's like rather than having, uh, like so instead of taking five damage to get rid of one piece of armor, it would take however much damage. Um, how much? How much healing does he fucking do with his orb? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know this tech. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, like essentially it, it stacks, right? It, it makes it harder for them to break. So in, in particular, when you want to just create leverage and you, you just want to have somebody on the point that just acts as like a presence, you can stick it onto your tank. Otherwise, when somebody's like engaging, it's good for you to have it on somebody like a Genji or something. Like I, I think in this case, it would be good potentially on... Uh, it's just it's kind of weird. Your Ana's over there for some reason. I guess she's trying to land an anti-nade. Is that what she's doing? Let me show you how to scratch it. That's out, am I? 50, 100, uh, 200, 250, 250 armor, yeah. Um, so you can think of it as like if each armor is worth one, er, five, uh, one armor is worth five damage, right? Um, yeah. So what you can consider is that like when an Arissa loses her armor, right? So let, let's say she's down to uh, 200 health. She's half, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's actually wrong. She's not half. She's actually, if you do like the math, technically the, the way that the armor works, you can think of her as like one sixth. She's not half. She's one sixth. She's like critical, right? Yeah. The, the, the idea is that with that 500, um, or sorry, with that five damage that it takes for each one armor, you can consider it as like, instead of 250 armor, it can be, what's 250 plus, or 250 times five, that's uh, 1,250, yeah. Okay, so she's no longer at um, 450 HP, right? Um, yeah. She has 450 in total, but with full armor, she's actually like 1,250 plus 200. Right, so that's actually 1,450 HP. Right, so when she has 200 HP, again, if you if you take that 1,450, mm -hmm. uh, divided by 200. Did I do that right? 7.25. I don't know if that's right. Okay, yeah, that that's about like uh, yeah, it looks like that's seven percent health. That looks like. Right, so he's actually ex extremely low. So that's why it's extremely important for you as a healer, or sorry, as a support, uh, as Ana, or uh, Zenyatta in your case. Um, it, it's important the way you, you manage your tank's armor. Okay. Um, the, so that like changes the priority of like who it is that you're focusing. Um, a lot of the times, DPS players are going to be taking... Uh, a, 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 less damage in general because of the fact that they're going to be like they're, they're, they're squishier so they're going to try to not take damage um, whereas mm -hmm. tanks are going to be like generally taking the brunt of it so it's like in situations now if we go back um, in situations like this right where you are here and you're, you're trancing this is good but then there, there has to be a point where you have to look at it and like okay so you keep the orb on the genji right you're up here alternatively what you could be thinking too is like you being up here what orb are you still keeping in line of sight okay see what i'm saying yeah but but the the whole point is is that like looking back there right mm -hmm. it's less likely that your orb is going to be up Right, if you're if you're completely looking the other way, so like here, right where you have the orb on the Genji, that's fine. You trance, but then you, you should be coming back, right? And yeah. Yeah, I think because I wanted to get ball in the trance, but then he gets hooked, and I'm like, oh. I, I would I would say at that point. I thought if I kept yeah, him up, we would. That, he, he was asleep the whole time, so you were kind of hesitating. I, I see that. But I think this point when you're hesitating, and again, look, you're, you're charging out in the open again. Right? So it's like, you, you, you're always going to find yourself in a shit position whenever you're charging out in the open. Because it's like, you'll never actually be able to, like... Um... So it, it's kind of like Lucio in a way, where it's like, with Lucio, you're literally just, like, spamming into a crowd. You, you don't really need mm -hmm. to think about it that much. It's like... 
with Zen's volley, you want to put it into the location where generally there's going to be the most people, or like there's most likely to be people, right? Like if you know somebody's flanking, obviously, then you can do it. But it's like, especially for that that breaching moment where you're like where you're trying to actually like breach through a position or a sight line, you need to have this charged and ready. All right, so you end up getting some shield. You're you're moving through. Again, you don't. Yeah, it's like peaking before the volley's over, or for yeah. the volley charge. Yeah. How did that happen? What about your orbs? What is your orb on? Nothing. Your orbs nothing. Big. So how did that happen? How did your orb end up on nothing? Yeah, like here, this is where I'm saying that like your your orb would be greatly appreciated by Winston, right? Um. How? Where did he come in? Okay, he's in the main. That's where. That's where I say. It, the, the thing is this, right? You, um, it's much more likely for a tank to take poke. So it's good that um, during these situations that you keep your orb on your tank, so then they're taking less poke. Right? Or like the the poke is less potent. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Um. Al alternatively, that could be um. Like the, okay, so the, the thing that that's kind of wrong at the same time because it's like the, the it it depends on the situation where it's like in in a situation where you don't have like a, a base like set shield like sort of like a yeah like the Arisa Sigma or in the case of like um, Reinhardt or something right in a situation where you're playing with like uh, let's say Hog Zarya or Hog uh, Hog Ball or yeah I, I guess. Uh, Paul Winston. Um, you do want to make their job a little bit easier, and that you, you want to prevent them from getting poked, uh, from getting poked. But it's like when you do have like a base shield that's going to completely deny the poke, you, you don't really need to keep it on the tank, and it, it would probably be better to keep it on the. Well, yeah, it would probably be better to keep it on the uh, the squishy. But in, in this case, it's like you you're, you really just need to breach. You, you need to take the time to to breach at the moment, but. I don't know. You're going for a nanoblade, so that's an auto one. But he got hooked. I, I don't really think there's too much of an issue with the hook. It's like it forced the root hog into a weird position. You end up winning the fight, so nah. it's whatever. Um, I, I would just say, if anything, you, you need to make sure you have an orb on something at least. All right, All right. So you're here. Did someone on your team die? Yeah, someone on your team died. Okay. Yeah, so you're charging. But then once they break line of sight like this, charge it, retake the sight line, and then fire it once once you um, once you've actually taken that sight line. Because here, like you kind of did you was that a full charge? I didn't even. Oh, no, it was like a three shot. One, two, three. Yeah. So a two shot. Unless oh, the animation's on the one, two, three. Yeah, right. So y you might as well just do the five, right? Because what's the use of getting a three? You might as well do the five, right? Because at that point, maybe you break shield. We can check, but in in hindsight, I mean that's a bit of a hindsight herald. But two hundred, maybe not, but it might have been close, right? And it's like yeah. the, the idea is that maybe he pulls away his shield, maybe somebody walks in front of it. The whole point is that at least you have more shots to test whether. Yeah, or not it's like it's happens. like keeping pressure yeah. on somebody. It it. It's it's like you you're presenting yourself with more of an opportunity to get a pick by doing five than with three. Do you get what I'm saying? Because it's like if you land three headshots, sure you can get the kill, but you're it's less likely that you're gonna hit three uh, directly as opposed to five, where you can hit like hit the first one, hit the second one, miss, miss, hit the third, right or whatever, right or the fifth. I mean. But it's like you need to actually like present yourself with that, and then again here you're kind of like you just need to take cover. Like as soon as this guy starts um, peeking like this, you just back off, heal off what you need, take the time to reassess what's going on, and then mm -hmm. charge, and then you can fire. But it's like at this point again you're you're charging and jumping, I guess, which is the yeah, an issue. But I, I don't think that's the main issue here. I, I think the issue is that you're just kind of 
you're not allowing yourself the opportunity to actually charge your shot and then take advantage as a result of that full charge like which is just spamming up one because my games have been super inconsistent because usually I'm forced off Zen somehow who they just will who are you playing like uh, like otherwise. I'm usually forced on the brig or something or Lucia do you not like him? You, you don't like Brick? You tell me you don't like Brick, dude. Oh, dude. Brick is like icky. <laughs> Again, no, no healing orb on anybody, right? Yeah. There, there, it needs to be on somebody. Letting yourself. So, if if we take this back, right? Uh. Alright, so when when you are pushing out like this, th th there's no reason why you can't orb somebody right now. Yeah. Right? Because it's like you're, you're going to take the ground, orb the uh, Winston. You can see he's going there. He's trying to like clearly claim something. Y you you go for the, the shot there. Fine. Okay. But now you need to reassess something. Y you need to take the time to actually look because notice how you haven't actually checked an angle right now, right? It's like you need to charge and then check an angle, right? At this point, it's too late because the Winston's dead. And like, even if you get a kill, it's going to be a counter. It's going to be a, a trade. But it's like, I, I think you could be checking your angles a lot sooner. You're taking a lot, like, again, it, it's the placing your harmony on somebody. And then you need to actually proactively look to take a corner. Or you need to proactively look to take a sight line by beaming somebody down, right? Honestly, I think, in general, going for the point is probably the wrong play first. Mm -hmm. um, yes, there are potentially people here. Yes, there's a Symmetra who's going to want to hunker up on point. But you can deal with that after you've taken the high ground, right? So it's like after you've secured the high ground for your team, after you've like made it like really hard for the enemy team to... Come on. There. After you've made it really hard for the enemy to come through here, or like through here, right? You, you need to present yourself with that opportunity. Here, you're not getting anything. Here, so th this is the thing, right? It, what it looks like is that you're half-assing it. You're half-assing either committing here or committing here. Like you need to do one or the other. And like you're not yeah. doing either. And it's just gonna leave you in a situation where you're just like not outputting a single thing. Right? And like the only opportunity you have is like a fucking mercy flying across your screen like as if that's the easiest thing to hit whereas you can literally just guarantee yourself value by building alt charge and just like firing down like a, a sight line that you know they're going to come from right yeah and then, again if we if we watch what's happening now right so you're, you're doing this you're trying to hit the mercy you, again and, and now you're at that moment where you're like kind of sure oh no he's gone uh, okay and then that Ana bots out and somehow you don't she doesn't die but good again where's your harmony you can you can harmony the the wrecking ball or something yeah you need to harmony something yeah, you definitely need to get those harmony out so it's like harmony up time should be 100 percent no matter what yeah uh, I mean, th it's just that there's no reason for it not to be. Yeah, yeah. Right, because it's like so if, that'd be if, a good thing somebody, to work on. If somebody breaks line of sight, and like you lose harmony, okay, fine. But it's like y y you're not even like giving them the first opportunity to have their harmony. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you're you're only harmonying people when they're dying, and realistically, you do no healing. <laughs> like you d you do nothing. So it's like th there's really no point that. The, the point of the harmony is um, it, it, it's a it's a preventative measure from getting you down low it's not an actual uh, countermeasure, does that make sense? yeah, it, it's not meant to counter a ton of damage, it's meant to prevent the ton of damage that's coming from being as impactful, right and again, once that tank is down to like what normally is perceived as like 20% health or half, they're not half. They're like ten. They're like twenty percent. They're they're going to die, 
right? And at that point, your harmony orb is supposed to increase the duration it takes for them to reach that point. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right. Because like at this point now, you're just kind of. It gets to that point Stop where sometimes dude. you have these matches where you just lose momentum and then that's it. Not that he's playing Overwatch. Hold on. Uh, again, just take cover. Quit standing on the open. Like, th there's a card to your left. Uh, maybe you still would have died, but. I think I should have just died earlier. That too. But yeah, I, I, I don't really. It seems like it's the, the same issue throughout this whole thing, but it's not yeah. really that much. There you go, this is better, right? So now it's gonna enable the Sigma to pu push up a bit more. And there you go, right? Again, you're, you're out in the open, just fire. You, you don't really need to charge up shots here, just fire. Like there, when you see how you're, you're, you're in cover now, and you yeah. think that there's gonna be something coming, then you go for the right click, that's good, right? But then but once you're like opening up your sight lines, just fire. There, there's no need to waste an opportunity. Like here, right? So you're firing. Just fire. Primary fire. Maybe I'm just not confident with like like my aim. Yeah, then you in just my primary to, fire. You need to keep on practicing. Though. White peak. And then at this point, it's like so. You, you've gone a full 99, yet you haven't built trance yet. They're like mm -hmm. three fourths. You're not. You're not even there. It's like it'd be understandable if you're at like 95 or something. But it's like th there's so many opportunities for you to build alt charge, but you're just simply not taking them, right? You you need to be an alt charge bot, essentially. Like that's what you are. You 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 are a trance bot, and like you just get picks. That's it. But it's like you're you're missing out you're not get you're not doing the getting picks part properly what the fuck is your sigma doing with this <laughs> what is that <laughs> like, what he's is he touching doing? them i know but the sigma is just like okay whatever i don't know why he's out here <laughs> what the fuck that's so weird whatever this is a uh, full tilt after getting fully uh fully wiped whatever um the, the the point is is that you're not presenting yourself opportunities to get picks properly you're like half-assing it and then as a result because you're not putting out that pressure from like that full volley you're just not able to like build up ult charge after that right mm -hmm. because just from pure primary fire right um and then it's like your your harmony orbs are just non-existent. Have you seen? Like you, you just don't you never have them on somebody ahead of time. And then at this point, it's just gonna be a loss. I'm pretty sure. You do lose this fight, right? Yeah. yeah. Thirty seconds. There's no way.